Okay, so now we're going to dive into how you can combine multiple patterns of formula in Power BI, multiple patterns of DAX formula. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of setup here, just get us ready for, for that type of analysis. And this is all part of the measure branching technique that uh, that I is something I like to discuss quite often. Um, it's an effective methodology for developing high quality reports, right? And you can keep going down these branches of calculations, and it really simplifies the formula that you ultimately might need to create within your models if you use this methodology. Okay, and so what I want to do is I want to see, so right now we've got some insights versus our, uh, for just daily information, right? And so if I just put this into a visualization, you'll see that, let's make it a little bit smaller. You'll see here that it's a little bit busy, right? It's a little bit busy, so I'll just have a look at, just shorten the time frame a little bit here. So when you look at daily information like this, it doesn't provide as much insight, especially when you're looking at trends over time. And so this is where you need to combine some other formula patterns on top of what we've already done. And, and this is what is I call measure branching. We need to branch out using other combinations of formula, other patterns of formula to generate visualizations or ins insights that are a little bit more meaningful when we th uh, throw in visualizations like this which don't really showcase the insight we want and for me it's all about trend analysis right i want to see the actual trend over time of how my sales have gone in one particular time frame in one particular context versus another and in this particular case we're going to compare versus last year so total sales in the current context versus sales in the current context last year Okay, and so I'm going to create a new measure here um, for cumulative for cumulative sales. Okay, so I'll go cumulative sales, and uh, we are going to use the calculate function again for this one. And I'm just going to input my initial measure here, total sales. Then I'm going to just add a slightly different formula pattern here, and so I'm going to use filter. And then I'm going to use, I'll, I'll just quickly write it out pretty quickly and then we can discuss it. Then dates, and then I'm going to go date, the date column is less than, less than or equal to max date. Okay, and so this, what, what this is here, what this is here is the cumulative total pattern. Okay, so I'll just push enter, and then I'll drag this into our table first so we can actually have a look at it. And uh, I'll also just update the formatting. So you'll see here that if you just dive into these first two numbers, this cumulative sales result is just accumulating up all of the information in this particular column here, the total sales column. And so if we get to this particular result here, 446387, what it's doing in the formula with within calculate this filter function is enabling us to look at the current date and then only sum up the dates prior up prior to that date and up to you know including that date and so we are going and looking through every single date because filter enables us to do that we're, and we're evaluating is the current date as we work through it, as we iterate through it, less than or equal to the max date. And this max date is basically the current date. So we're working through every single uh, date here and we're saying, well, is the date less than the current date? So is the date less than 11th of the 6th? And if it is, then we want to count it up. And that's how we get our cumulative total. And so if I throw this into a visualization just quickly as well, We can start to see what it looks like visually and so i'll just turn this into an into an area chart and so you see now that this total sales number here is now cum showing cumulatively and i think you know from a already from a trend perspective this is much better right much better visually in understanding um, how things have gone over time 
But still, you want to contrast this number, right? You want to be able to contrast it versus something else. And that's where we can branch out from our time intelligence calculations. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use exactly the same pattern here of formula. All I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it, right? I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go new measure. And I'll paste it in. And then I'm just going to change a few things in here. I'm going to go cumulative sales last year. And within here, I'm going to go and find my sales last year. And so you see here that nothing actually changed within the formula combination itself. It's exactly the same. All I'm doing is I'm changing the input around the measure and the name of the measure. Okay. And this is this is the big this is the big part of really scaling up your Power BI and analytical work. Because this being able to just copy and paste these these same patterns over and over again is makes things relatively seamless. Okay. And so then if I bring this one into the table, you'll see here very quickly that it's just um, accumulating the the sales last year amounts here. So 875 plus 1470 is 2345, right? And I'm just going to just quickly change this to a currency. Okay, so now we have it in a table. We can obviously then visualize it here as well. And so I can then overlay that cumulative sales last year. And then now we can start to see how things have gone uh, trend wise over time and this this to me is just a f when it, dealing with any sort of time related information if you're trying to analyze a trend compare a trend this is the best way to do it and the technique that we've just gone through in terms of combining you know similar patterns and just um, rinse and repeat basically is how you can effectively build out your analysis qu very quickly within within your models within your your reports right and this isn't just, um, you know, this technique is not just isolated to cumulative totals. It actually can be used across a variety of different uh, pieces of analysis that you might do. Um, you know, and we might touch upon uh, some as we as, as we just go through some, uh, a few more advanced examples uh, in this particular course. But obviously, there's, <laughs> we're, already, we're already touching, uh, scratching the surface here. You know, in terms of reusing formula patterns, there's a lot of that great content uh, embedded within other course structured course modules uh, within uh, within Enterprise DNA Online. Um, but hopefully, this has given you a bit of a flavour around uh, uh, around how this works. Right, it all starts simple, and then we can just slowly build and branch out from our simple calcs. And then we can start doing really exciting analysis like this. I mean, we can actually even take this further, just you know, thinking aloud here. I mean, we, we might want to say, okay, well, what is the difference? And then we can branch out again and we can say, okay, well, let's create a measure that says cumulative sales difference. And we can just go cumulative sales minus cumulative sales last year. And that's going to give you another measure, which you could then utilize in a visualization uh, and utilize within your, um, your reports and models, etc. And uh, it's going to produce valuable insights, right? Okay, so look, I think that's enough for me here. I'm just giving you um, a taste of what you can do here. And, and with this example, hopefully you can really see the potential, see the, see the opportunities uh, that are available to you as you expand your knowledge around uh, formula patterns inside of Power BI. Okay, let's move on.